All right, everyone, we're going to make a video here to show you how to get used to using Android Studio and complete your first app in, in Android Studio. I'm just going to use the emulator here today. So this is what it looks like when you first open up Android Studio. If you've done any projects before, they show up over here. So this is one that I actually loaded off of the developer site for uh, our textbook. But we're going to go to this uh, Start a New Android Studio project. Now, the first time you do this, it, it might take a while. It, it, it can be very slow. Uh, you're going to give this a name. I'd suggest that you give this, um, this a name like my first app, and then maybe your initials, and then uh, Rio Slotto College. So, so something along those lines. And then uh, the company domain, you want to make up something, you know, uh, this is uh, uh, my, myphone.com, and then you'll notice down here, it's going to give you the package name where it's going to take the, uh, it's the reverse uh, notation. So it'll take the, the com and put it at the beginning, and this will automatically update as you, change the company domain. It doesn't really matter what you choose right now for the company domain. Uh, just uh, choose something, and again, uh, maybe your name, something unique to you, and then the, the .com at the end. And then hit next. Now, this is where you can actually choose uh, which kind of operating system at minimum you want uh, to do your build on. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to use API 15, the Android ice cream sandwich. Um, you, you should use uh, something that you're, you're, you know, absolutely sure that no one's going to be using uh, an older version of that um, uh, uh, in operating system. So, you know, you want to you want to go far enough back, and this is pretty far back. And we're not going to do any wearables or TV or anything for now. All right, and then uh, for today, we're just going to do the Hello World kind of app, and so we're going to select the empty activity. Although these are ones where you can do you know, access different kinds of features that are on the phone and have different templates that are set up. So as soon as you uh, do your empty activity, now we need to give it a name. Uh, you can call it, you know, main activity is, is kind of the main um, landing screen when you get into your app. And that's good enough for us for now. And we'll press finish. And again, the first time you do this, it's going to take a little while to do. It's going to uh, go through this whole build. So we'll um, stick with this for just a couple minutes. See how long it takes. All right, I only paused uh, for about, uh, I don't know, five, ten seconds or something like this. Now it came up. It's actually, uh, you know, still doing like the end bit of the build down here. But uh, while we're here, I want to just show you around the Android Studio a little bit. So you got your main kind of title bar up here. This is your toolbar. Um, this is uh, the, you know, we're in the Java section, so this is the code. And then this will be more the, the, the graphical version of this. It's not quite ready yet. So here's the, you know, the, the graphical view. This is kind of the drag and drop area, and this is where you can do more of the coding. All right, so uh, this, this kind of automatically populated our first kind of app, this Hello World app, and uh, we don't really even modify the code at all. Uh, I'm going to go up here and just press the Run button. Now this is going to bring up your uh, options for your, uh, for your uh, virtual emulator. Now you should have set this up maybe in the first lesson when you were setting up your Android Studio and set up your virtual emulator. Uh, if you haven't already set up your virtual emulator, you might want to look at the appendix in your textbook um, or go back to lesson one. So here's my virtual emulator, the Nexus. I'll press OK. Now it's going to actually run this app and, and set it up on, on our uh, virtual emulator which is right here. Wait for it. All right, there's the startup screen. Still doing the loading. A few more seconds.
All right, here's our phone. Um, and let's see, should run the app here for us. Launching the activity. My first app, Hello World. All right, so our app is running on our emulator. And uh, that's, that's our first app. Uh, you can actually plug in an Android device into your computer. And uh, you have to make sure you install the correct USB drivers for it. But if you have your, um, and you, you set your phone into debugging mode, you can actually use the debug feature up here and you can push this output instead of on the emulator, you can use your actual Android phone then um, uh, as your, uh, as your to, to push the app out to, 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 to make sure that it doesn't have any bugs in it. All right, so uh, last thing for this particular video, I'm gonna show you your first uh, project for, for lesson two is about changing the icon. So you can actually operate this app just like it's a real phone. So we can exit out of this app and we can clear the screen. We can go to the home screen. We can look at the different um, you know, menus that are available on here. You know, so here's kind of the main sign-in screen. We can navigate around and, and look at all this different kind of stuff. So, you know, if I if I even scroll up like this, now I can find this little icon on here. Let me make sure I go back for a second. Here's my first app, and if I click on this little icon, this is called the the launcher icon. And if I click on the launcher icon, it's going to launch the app again. It'll go back right back to the hello. Show you that. So here we are back in the apps. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that back to the home screen, go back. All right, so your first project is actually change the appearance of this launcher icon. And they give you some very specific things to do in that project. Uh, make sure you download the PDF instructions for the project one, uh, but I'm gonna give you a little head start on that. So you wanna go over here to the project view. So right now we're up in Android view. You wanna click down to project view. And then when you're in the project view, expand this first menu Go to the app menu, right click on the app menu, go to new, and then image asset. And here under image asset, you actually have some different options for changing the appearance of your launcher icon. All right, so I hope that that gives you a little bit of a head start on, uh, on your project for this week, and I'll see you next time.